<laughs> Mr. Brown, we were smiling because you're doing a good job. <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay any attention to him. All right, we're back. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call to order the Muskegon County Board of Commissioner Transportation Committee. And I would then, uh, I'm asking for a roll call with your location at this point. Commissioner Sear. Uh, here, Twin Lake, Michigan. Commissioner Hovey Wright. Here, City of Muskegon. Commissioner Hughes. Here, Muskegon Township, Michigan. Commissioner Laring. Here in the Hall of Justice. Commissioner Nash. <laughs> Commissioner Nash. Uh, Kathy, he was at the airport. He His plane left at five, so he may have boarded. Oh, okay. So excused. Commissioner Pago. Uh, here, City of Muskegon. Chairman Skolnick. Here, uh, City of Norton Shores, right next to Dune Harbor Park. <laughs> Commissioner Wilkins. Here at Muskegon County. And Commissioner Brown. Here, Muske uh, City of Muskegon. Okay. Uh, next on, thank you everyone. Uh, next on the agenda is item number three, the approval of minutes of January 21st, 2021 and the committee uh, uh, the committee meetings. So everyone should have that in front of you. If not, it is posted, uh, uh, shown here. So I'm a support. I have a support, a motion and support. Uh, I would need a roll call vote at this point. Commissioner Hovey Wright. Yes. Commissioner Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Laring. Yes. Commissioner Nash. Oh, excused. Commissioner Pego. Yes. Chairman Skolnick. Yes. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Sear. Yes. Commissioner Brown. Yes. Next on the agenda is a uh, uh, informational items only, and there was a revised agenda that came out. Uh, so we only have one in front of you, which is the number uh, item number A, transit operations report, uh, January 2021. Motion to place those on file. Thank you. Support, Skolnick. So we have a motion. Thank you. Capture that. Um, we would need a roll call vote for to put this on file at this point. So if I ask for a roll call. Commissioner Pego. Yes. Commissioner Skol or Chairman Skolnick. Yes. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Sear. Yes. Commissioner Hovey Wright. Yes. Commissioner Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Laring. Yep. And Commissioner Brown. Yes. Next on is item number five, the public, or yes, uh, uh, item number five, public com comment on the agenda items. Uh, persons may address the commission during this time set aside for public comment or at any time by suspension. Or, or at any time by suspension of the rules, all persons must address the commission and state their name for the record. Comments shall be limited to two minutes for each participant unless time is extended prior to the public comment period by a vote of the majority of the commission. So at this point, uh, I, we would uh, entertain any public comment. And I do not see any hands raised. Thank you, Commissioner Hughes. So... We have no public comment. Uh, next, uh, item number six, we have uh, a couple items here for consideration. The first would be TC21-02-03. Uh, this is uh, by Matt's Bob Lukens uh, to authorize the Muskegon Area Transit System published to publish the public notice regarding the fiscal year 2021 federal capital assistance applications and to authorize staff to execute the electronic 
grant application if there is no request for public hearing. So moved. Support. We oh. have a motion and support on this. Indeed. And I would like any questions, comments, or concerns. Mr. Chair, I have a question. Yes, correct. Yes. Um, yeah, this looks like we're being asked to, to not vote on uh, any grant submitted under transit. Uh, is there, is it a timing issue or am I misunderstanding the, uh, the item? Mark, can you uh, answer no, that? I'll bring up, I can bring on this, the, uh, the Jim Coons, the, the, the manager. <laughs> Jim, you're with us? Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure I understand the question. This is our typical process annually where we bring an application. Uh, we are submitting an application to the Federal Transit Administration. And then what we do is we publish the public notice that identifies what projects are included in that application. Okay. And that's what this represents. It's, these are the projects for which we will be seeking federal transit funding in fiscal year 2021. Okay, I, have, I thought it was a change in the process, so I'm fine with this. Okay, thank you very much. There's no Mr. other- Mr. Yes. Chair, no question. Yes, sir. Uh, I am wondering where we're at with the process of moving mats into a separate authority. Uh, this would, if this board would act quicker, we would have these decisions in front of us and mats could be operating under an authority and applying for these grants themselves and not leaving the county liable for deficits. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Mark, can you answer that? Because I know that did come up in our committee meeting. There was uh, that we were still pursuing that. Yeah, Whit Wimserdick is uh, moving forward with that study on uh, a regional uh, um, transportation authority, which includes a Grand Haven area. <laughs> Um, so they're moving forward with that process. So we're, we're kind of um, waiting for that to move forward. It is moving forward. We're just, it just takes time to be able to do that. I don't know if we had any time frame on that or that we could uh, could get us uh, information on. Yes, Chairman Brown. Timeline for that. Yes. Chairman Brown, this is Commissioner Hughes. Yes. And I sit on the Transportation Committee on behalf of MATS with Wimserdick, and we do have a research study going on with Harbor Transit and MATS right now, and the results of that should be coming back fairly soon. Okay, thank you very much. I know we had discussed it in the committee uh, meetings, and, and uh, Commissioner Hughes, thank you for that update. Commissioner Sear, did you have a question or no? I... No, basically, uh, what's the same question? Uh, you know, very soon, uh, is that, you know, a month, three months, six months, a year? Uh, what would your guess be? Uh, I'm going to say 60 days. It takes a little while to do all of the, with the two different, both of the counties are trying to look together to make a one authority. And I think it's going to take a little while to do that. Jim Coons might have a better uh, look at that. I think he's more involved with the um, grant and the, selection but i think we're but i do know we're moving forward okay hey mark would this would this have any i mean by this no item for consideration we would still have to do this for the year is that correct or not yes we'd still have to do this and we'd probably still use the buses as well so we'll come back with you a timeline on that um whole proposed whole thing that windsor dick is working on oh thank you is there any other uh Questions, comments, or concerns at this point? Seeing none, I would ask for a roll call vote. We have a motion and a second on this uh, already. So, Commissioner Hughes? Yes. Commissioner Lehring? No. Commissioner Pago? No. Chairman Skolnick? Yes. Commissioner Wilkins? Yes. Commissioner Sear? No. Commissioner Hovey Wright? Yes. Commissioner Brown. No. It's Next, four yes uh, and four no. <laughs> motion fails. Motion passes. Yeah. Motion four passes. four motion fails. Four yeah. four the 
and fails. Okay. Um, is there, uh, Mr. Chair? Yes. Is there a way that, I mean, because uh, Mr. Uh, Nash was had to be on an airplane, is there a way that we can bring this back with a full board to vote on it? Um, I don't know what our procedure would be for that. That would be a lawyer. Mike, Mike Holmier, do you have? Uh, um, it's an interesting question because um, my presumption is, and correct me if I'm wrong, that these matters would come to the full board for approval anyways after committee votes. Is that correct? No. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. That's exactly well, what happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't pass at the committee, does it? No, it, it motion fails. It does not come forward. That's why we have committee meetings. <coughs> Could it be brought up at the full board? I'll, I'll have to in business. I'm going to have to look. Um, I'm going to have to look, but for purposes of right now, uh, uh, Commissioner Larynx, correct, the motion fails. I have a question for uh, Mike, too. Mike, would you check and see if this is brought up at at full board, if it can be brought up under old business? Yeah, I will check. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate uh, your uh, um, clarification. Sure. Next uh, items for consideration is TC 21 slash 02 to 04 uh, to approve the Muskegon Area Transit Systems fiscal year 2022 application to the state of Michigan for operating and capital assistance to authorize the resolution of intent to apply for financial assistance to name the county administrator as the transportation coordinator and to publish the public notice. So I would need a motion and su um, support on that. So a motion. Support. And any questions, comments, or concerns? I have a question, if I may. Why would we appoint the county administrator as the transportation coordinator? I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, may I speak? Uh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> yes, Mr. Uh, Commissioner Loring. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. I, I, my question stands, though, if we could get an explanation. From, from what I understand from the committee meeting or the motion review meeting, that this was, uh, there had to be another, the administrator had to be on this and... Uh, uh, Mr. Eisenberg, if you could uh, yeah, I can add some, address uh, that, please. On that. Um, this, this has, the past 15 years, has been the county administrator. It could Correct. be a commissioner as well. Um, this is more routine and something we've done for the last 15 years. Does that so answer your... It does. It So it basically, if we always do what we've always done, we always get what we always got. Thank you. Okay. So we have a motion and support. Uh, I would like wait, a roll call vote no, wait, on. Mr. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, if these, uh, just, I have a question. I don't know who can answer it. If these motions fail, then does that mean that the, uh, the entire transit system shuts down? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so all the people that depend on the transit system shut down because we didn't apply for the grants that pay for 90% of the operating costs. Right. Is that, is that correct, Mr. Chair? This is a big deal to vote no on these things. Yeah. Um, okay. We could ask Jim Coons to comment on the first one, if you like. Commissioners, if you'd like, I'll, I'll comment on the, the item that's before you right now, which is the state application. So. Um, the state of Michigan requires us, if we are going to utilize state assistance <clears throat> for either capital or operating expenses, to file an application. And that application is due uh, annually in February. Um, if we are not interested in having state support, then I, I suppose we can begin making those discussions known to the state. So this application in front of you is 
is done in advance and it allows the state department of transportation to estimate um, the needs of Muskegon area transit. They receive applications like this from every transit system in the state, and then they distribute the funding based upon these applications. At the end of the day, the amount they actually reimburse uh, depends on actual expenses. So this gives them an estimate for budgetary purposes in advance, and then depending on the state appropriation in fiscal year 22, um, uh, they will, you know, do the actual reimbursement. So, uh, you know, we have to apply before we can, you know, obviously be reimbursed. But if we if we begin, uh, or if we fail to apply, then um, they'll come asking, you know, what what our plans are um, and how we plan to move forward. So. Uh, the fiscal year 2022 application includes both uh, uh, an estimate of operating expenses. Again, it does not commit us to every line item in there. Um, and it includes an estimate of capital uh, programs that we'll be applying for in fiscal year 2022. If Mr. there are you know, specific questions I can answer, I'll try to do that. And then I'll, I'll come back around to the federal application under public comment or, or whenever you'd like me to. Mr. Brown, um, yes. I'd, I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Coons one more question. Just is, does Please. this have to be filed in February? Technically, it's due February 15th. Um, however, um, that deadline, we've typically run our applications through in February and submitted it after the February committee meetings or, or board meetings. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I? Yes, uh, Commissioner Sir. Uh, Mr. Coons, if the if we uh, or if transportation becomes a, an authority in in a relatively short period of time, is this uh, application still necessary? Then, do you know? So, so I haven't had that discussion with the state of Michigan. Um, they typically follow the federal leave federal lead on those items, but the state will work with us to transition any obligations or, or revenues, or, sorry, any obligations or funds over to a new entity. I know that the federal uh, approach is um, that they will do the same. So anything that is a asset or liability would be transitioned at the time of, of, of governance transition. Um, but, but if you just stop applying, then, then the ability for that other entity to take it over um, really gets, you know, they, they've missed some windows of opportunity to have the resources. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I have a comment, if I may, on this motion. Yes, Commissioner Laura. Thank you. So here's my issue with this. I've been a board member for now, this is my second term, two years. The last two years, we've been talking, working, considering voting, changing our minds, doing studies about moving this to an authority. Uh -huh. it's, it's, we're over two years at working at this now to move it to authority. And we're just now starting a study after two years of work. Um, this is the most slow walk thing I think I've ever seen. And the county should not be running a transit system. This should have never been in the county's hands in the first place. We can't manage a one-man marching band, let alone some, let alone a, ma a mass transit. We've made a right decision at the airport. Um, I think that in getting that in private hands to manage that, we need to get this this mass transit system out of our hands. We can't manage anything. So I am a no vote on this. I am happy with the first vote we did. I'm happy to vote no on this one also. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Chair, I'd, li I'd like to have a comment too. If I could. Uh, yes, Commissioner, Commissioner Hughes. I just, I just wanted to say that moving into an authority is not something that we take lightly. And we had an opportunity to do a study. We're moving to, we're looking at moving two different, totally different transportation systems into one and that's not an easy thing to do and even if the results of the study come back in 60 days it's going to be the same thing as community mental health it's probably going to take a year before we before this gets moved government does not work at all like business that's one of the first things i found out if you ran a business like this you would be broke but this is how government runs 
So yeah, we have, you, have to, you have to get, I'm sorry, because, but you just have to get used to it. It runs totally different than a business. We're not in business to make money. We're in business to serve the people. So it's totally, it's a totally different situation to get your head wrapped around. <coughs> Mr. Chair, if I may. Yes, uh, Commissioner Loring, you have the floor. It, it, it's pretty evident that we're not in business to make money. We're also not in business to save money or to save our taxpayers money. This should have never been under county control. It's been mismanaged for decades. We need to get it out from underneath the county's uh, control rapidly. Okay. Um, Commissioner Hovey Wright. Yes. Um, if that's if if putting it under uh, an authority is what you want, it has to be done in a way that maintains the funding sources and transportation is funded by government. Uh, it comes from the state, it comes from the feds. Uh, it, there's no uh, transportation system that is uh, totally, uh, uh, what, uh, they all have problems in, in any uh, community. Uh, and uh, we, to, in one vote, practically, at least as I understand it, defund uh, the transit system is totally irresponsible. It has to be a planful transition. I'm not opposed to going to, you know, combining the two systems. Maybe we can get some economies of scale and reduce the deficit that way. Uh, but to, to, uh, to do it uh, after we've been working on this for so long and then to just I think it's an irresponsible vote that was made on, in 03, uh, the, the previous motion, uh, as Mr. Uh, Skolnick has said, and, and to, to vote no on this as well would be even worse. So- um, Mr. Chair, I have one more comment, if I may. Yes, Commissioner Lauren. So there is no mandate that the county has to provide mass transit. If the city wants to do it, if Norton Shores wants this so bad, or the city of Muskegon or the city of Muskegon Heights, <laughs> let them pay for it. They had a $500,000 budget shortfall for 2020. The only reason that they were able to come out of 2020 at all was because of COVID and all of the government spending that came out with these COVID relief packages. They have a budget deficit for this year. And they, they have no way to, to recoup it. If 2021 goes back and they don't get all these COVID relief funds, they're going to fold up anyways. So you're just, they have a budget deficit. for So these new commissioners don't know that there's a budget deficit for mats for 2021. Without COVID funding uh, that may or may not come, uh, they're going to fold up anyways, or you're going to be dishing out of the county general fund to pay off their deficits. Thank you. Any other comments at this point? I would need a roll call vote for this item for consideration and mo at the motions on the table. Commissioner Lehring. No. Commissioner Pego. No. Chairman Skolnick. Yes. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Sear. No. Commissioner Harvey Wright. Yes. Commissioner Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Brown. No. Four yes, four no. Motion fails. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, item number seven is unfinished business. Do we have any unfinished business at this point? Okay. So I, just to be yes. clear, uh, Mr. Chair, um, uh, 04 uh, is in the same category as 03 that we need to see if we can bring it up in uh, full board. Under, we'll take that in. Okay. Well, I'm just saying there, there it was exactly the same uh, count and it's exactly the same issue. Okay. So. We'll take that in consideration. Any other unfinished business at this point? Uh, saying none, new business. And this, uh, from what I understand, we do have some new business uh, to discuss. Uh, 
Correct. Mark? Um, Mark Eisenbarth here. Yeah, I would like to have Bob Lukens provide an update on the transition at the airport. Mr. Lukens? Thank you, Mr. Eisenbarth. Yes, um, the transition is moving along uh, smoothly at this time. Um, we do have a request, though, from F3 that they push up the date on some of the um, decisions that they are making for the transition to Mar uh, February 28th, as opposed to March 31st. Um, F3 is deciding whether they will um, hire on the current uh, uh, consultant that we have at the airport, Rick Tag and also the uh, manager. They are in the process of hiring a manager for the airport. Uh, Mr. Tag, as you know, will be there during the transition, but they would like to um, bring Mr. Tag into, the, into their employ, overseeing their airport division. And then um, they will hire uh, a manager for our airport, a local manager for our airport. Um, so they want to move those dates up, um, at least for those two position and potentially for uh, the maintenance staff and other staff that are currently employed by the county at the airport. So uh, at this time, again, they're just looking at those two positions, but uh, there could be more. Yeah, Mr. Lukens, thank you so much. That's exciting. Uh, uh, good, good news to hear that uh what's going on there. So thank you for all your help there. Uh, we have, uh, Marsha Hovey Wright. Um, yeah, Marcia. I have a question for Mr. Lukens. Uh, how many of the of our uh, airport staff have they hired? They have hired um, uh, six of our staff. We had um, how we many? Had six of how many? Six of eight. Uh, one of those eight was a seasonal and the other one was uh, just decided not to uh, um, go with F3. Yeah, thank you. Sounds like it's been a smooth transition so far and obviously ahead of schedule. So that's yes. good news. Thank I you, would sir. Make that, uh, do you need a motion on that? Yes, please. To move forward. I'll, I'll make that motion. So we need a motion to move forward uh, with F3 to, uh, thank yes. you very much, Commissioner Hughes. Appreciate Second. that. Second. And we have a second. Um, I would need a roll call vote. I wasn't clear what the date was. Uh, from, from I think it went from to March 1st. To March, March 1st, 1st, correct. Yes. To February 28th? No. No. March April. 31st to February 28th. Going from April 1st to March 1st. Start date. Correct. Oh. That's my motion. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. So any other Commissioner Pago. Okay. Yes. Chairman Skolnick. Uh, yes. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Steer. Yes. Commissioner Javi Wright. Yes. Commissioner Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Laring. Yes. Commissioner Brown. Yes. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, do we have any other new business to um, come to uh, the, the Transportation Committee at this point? No. Moving right ahead, public uh, public comment. Uh, is there any public comment? And looks like we do have uh, Mr. Kearns. Kearns. Jim. Thank you, commissioners. Um, I would just like to extend an invitation to any of you to um, contact me um, if you have questions about how MATS is funded or how MATS operates um, and, and what the important role is of our, of our funding partners. Um, we do, I believe, have a opportunity to present very briefly on the later this month to you, and I can only regret that that didn't occur prior to this vote. Uh, my role as manager is to implement the program for you and help manage it and keep the funds flowing, et cetera. <clears throat> you decide on what direction you want the program to go. So um, I'll, I'll just say that some of the items in the federal application today were specifically to implement decisions that have already been made. There's funding in there for heavy duty buses that are already on order. 
There's funding in there for capital cost of contracting, which is to support a possible microtransit program. And there's funding in there for support equipment, which is in response to a request that we develop some tracking and capacity and customer um, customer uh, information processes. So, you know, it, these things are, are intended to um, implement the programs that, that you've asked us to do. And, and I can only ask that we, you know, be, have an opportunity to explain how the program works and give you more information um, as we bring these back forward to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we have another pub or in public uh, comment at this point. We have Chris Pete. Thanks, Mark. Um, I um, have kind of kept track of the transit question, and I want to just go on the record to say we strongly support excellent public transit for any community, especially this one. There's an awful lot to learn. It sounds like the director is more than willing to help um, everyone, including the public, understand that system even better. Um, public transit is is more and more important everywhere, even communities like ours, and especially younger people, younger families, uh, millennials and Z generation, um, like public transit to be able to equip buses with uh, bike racks would be something to think about, but uh, fully support that. And uh, I know it's, it's complicated and complex, but it can be incredible. Thank you. Thank you. We have any other public comment at this point? No. Thank you, Mark. Um, we are at item number 10, final board comment. Is there any okay. comments from the board? Uh, Commissioner Sear. Uh, yes, I, I also do support uh, public transportation. I just like to see it. Uh, the funding changed a little bit uh, in brought in under the uh, into an authority. I think it would function better that way. So thank you. And it sounds like uh, from Commissioner Hughes was mentioned that we're, there's been a lot of discussion, a lot of work, so we appreciate that. And maybe that's uh, where we go next with that. So thank you. Uh, Commissioner Hovey Wright. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a comment, but I have a question of Mr. Coons, if I may. Uh, the two votes failing, what effect does that have on our public transit system going forward? Well, Assuming we can bring them back at full board. Uh, obviously, commissioners, if we're going to continue operating a program, we'll have to uh, either amend this to to satisfy the board or or bring this back in some way, shape, or form. Um, otherwise, there's no point in us perhaps showing up for work on a continuous basis. Yes, that's what I was afraid of. Because yeah. you know the the federal funding, and again, we'll present more information on how the funding works and. Uh, you know, we have to have these funds to have a viable program. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, Mr. Brown, could I yeah. uh, speak, ask Mr. Coons a question too? Yes, please. Jim, could you tell me if, if we don't follow through with this, will the county be liable for the buses and things that we've already begun to purchase? That I don't know. That's a good question. Well, the, the, the two buses that are listed in the um, federal application are for buses for which an, uh, an order has already been placed. Um, I am scheduled to begin the pre-production process on those at the end of the month. And um, because we knew the funding for these two was not yet secure, secured, we can drop these two if we have to, but we... Um, we have the funding for the other three in grants and we'll be moving forward with the build of those three buses. And then this would be the other two that we already have on order and they are necessary in order to continue uh, updating our fleet. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any other comments from the board? I would just like to make a little bit of, this was in the mailbox today and I it was not hate mail and I thought it was from uh, someone here, but it was not. And uh, it was uh, as the American flag and it was from a third grader named Jack and said, dear commissioners, thank you, thank you for uh, being a commissioner and had a big USA 
thing. So uh, made my day. Thank you very much. And uh, I appreciate Jack for uh, putting this together. So thank you so much. And I, I don't know if there's other ones in the mailbox there, but uh, uh, that was really a, a nice, nice uh, comment I wanted to make. So thank you in recognition. If not, if there's no, no other board comments at this point, uh, I would ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Support so and we're good. Do we need a roll call for that or not? No, no, nope. yes, but thank no. you so much. Everybody have a great evening. Thank you.